Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Scorpio. If Scorpio is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so our card tonight is the hanged man. And so, let's see what that has to do with these tea leaves. These tea leaves. All right. If you have not, <laughs> you can tell I'm just like, I'm getting warmed up here. <laughs> if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Uh, it is free to subscribe, and we'd love to have you here as part of the community. Okay, so immediately I'm looking at this, and I, it stands out to me as six. S-I-X. Six. Okay. You can see lowercase i right there. Um, so six seems like a really important number. That's big big, big space. Um, also in the emotional, but in the physical world as well, reaching up into the metaphysical, but I will say this, it looks like it's mostly in this emotional area. So the number six definitely has to do with something that feels very emotionally charged. Okay. And this, this, uh, I don't know. We have to look for more context, but <laughs> we'll see if we have some clarity with that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn it this way. It looks like we have uh, the side of a face. Here's the nose, the eye, kind of the hairline. Okay, maybe down into the body here. Um, and then here, it looks like like E.T., like the, the movie. You can see the... Um, the face, kind of the two eyes, the mouth, and it's kind of bumpy like that. And it looks like this is holding that. <laughs> it looks like a very kind of surreal um, mouse and, and uh, E.T. there. So, um, I don't know, strange dreams. I do feel like, you know, I almost wonder if this really is kind of... Um, the first thing that popped into my mind is, as I'm saying all this is like, does this have to do with a sense of kind of feeling pretty alienated as a child? And I say that because I wonder if you were maybe young or at least, you know, in a younger part of your life, obviously when ET came out or when, when maybe when you saw it for the first time. Um, and I feel like, you know, if you saw the movie, you remember we felt quite emotionally attached to this being and his his counterpart, his the little boy that was his kind of his counterpart there, and um, really this emphasis of um, feeling kind of alienated in our own family life in our own local community, um, you know, something bigger than us. Um, really just kind of dropping this, you know, this, uh, um, thing into our lives that is, uh, shows us that we're completely out of control, um, of anything. <laughs> we kind of just have to go with the flow. So I wonder, you know, um, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it really feels like it's a callback to childhood. Now, I wonder if you also are, um, somebody who likes the mouse, right? And you might know which mouse I'm talking about. <laughs> that large corporation. Um, you know, and you maybe are somebody who enjoys that as well. But I think really the thing that is coming through here is there's this sense of youthfulness. Uh, you, I feel like you are, um, you know, maybe returning to this uh, place, doing some, you know, child childhood healing sessions or in, taking care of the inner child um 
a focus on it though it just it seems like you're in kind of in a place of nostalgia but also it's kind of distorted because it's not I feel like there's kind of this this sense of um of yeah feeling uh you know kind of feeling like you're kind of like a, you know, drifting around in your childhood, that there was like a sense of really wanting some kind of stability, consistency, um, to be able to make your own decisions. And, um, it felt like, it feels like as I'm looking at, it, it just seems like, yeah, the, the, it was hard to find some footing. It was hard to be heard. Um, you were just kind of, uh, at the whim of the circumstances of your caretakers, your family, your, your parents. And of course that's true for all of us, but you know, um, especially in those, those formative years, uh, it really can set in these, a sense of anxiety, you know, when things are always changing, um, your parents are maybe divorcing, there's, there is death or, um, you know, constant, like a, a lot of moving schools or, or away from your family, you know, you move across the country or something. Um, all of these things can, can really, it just plants the seed of, of, uh, dis-ease, right? And not disease, dis-ease. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, and it just feels like it, I feel like this is a time for some reason, maybe it's an anniversary, I don't know, but it, it feels like it's coming up, okay? Um, and I feel like you're really, you know, this is, this is something that, uh, I feel like when, when you're not feeling the best, right, emotionally, spiritually, even physically, um, just maybe have a cold or feeling run down, having fevers, you know, and, and then you, the emotional parts really start to pour in and, and we start to really kind of ruminate. We're stuck in our, in our bed and our own, and with our own thoughts. And, and we begin to think about these things and they, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, um, when I don't feel good and I'm, and I'm thinking about stuff, um, that was painful and that, you know, in a, whatever way it was, um, it, it just seems so big and so intense, like a monster, you know, a scary monster. And, um, it, it can be, uh, hard to get away from that feeling. Right. Uh, so, um, I want to look at more of this and I want to talk about the, the, um, I want to talk about the hanged man. I actually really am happy when I see the hanged man um, because it, it really kind of, it's like the universe telling me, okay, it's time to reevaluate some things. It's time to kind of look at what's going on. It's uh, We got to make some different decisions. Maybe it's time to make uh, a bit of a sacrifice, right? Put something down, um, do something else with your time, with your money, with your efforts, um, you know, see how it goes. Okay. Oh, so we do have a beautiful, we have a beautiful goddess right here. Okay. And you can see she has the moon crown, um, a, on top and it looks like she's holding a chicken. I must imagine like a chicken she's, you know, that, um, that's going to be cooked, right? Um, and I'm looking over here on this side. So we do, and then I'm seeing she, it also looks like she has kind of, um, the, uh, the scythe, okay, or sickle, I always mix them up, but the, the harvesting thing, you know, cut down the, the wheat and fields and things with, um, so there is a sense of, um, this being kind of, um, a lunar goddess, but also, um, a, 
a goddess of the the crops, the you know farming, um, sustenance, and so on. So I do see that there is a sense of plentiful here, and this is on this highest peak up here as well. Okay, um, so I do think that even with the things that are going on, you are still very focused on taking care of your responsibilities, your domestic duties, your work, your career. Um, I think all of that, you are really, you're getting that together so well. Um, it's this other stuff, you know, that really, um, it waxes and wanes, doesn't it? And we have, we do, we have that, that lunar goddess energy. So she really does. She, um, she's not one to mess with. She will, you know, she giveth and taketh away, right? Um, and you know, it happens continually. So we have to learn to um, navigate those emotional waters, right? Because the tide really can pull itself way out and it can come in very quickly. So, oh shoot, I forgot to turn this water thing off. Okay, so uh, let's see what else we have. Now I wanted to look at this one like this because it kind of really looks like a monkey as well and you can see the little face right there the eye and the little nose and the mouth we have the monkey we have some we have a dollar sign right here okay and so we also have What are you doing? We have a person right here. We have a person right here with a flower. So there is growth. Um, this one almost he almost looks like he's he's like divining. He's using or dousing rods or divining rods. Um, so okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, um, there's money coming. There is money coming, and I think that that has been uh, a concern. I also see a house over here. Um, okay. So I think that's been a concern, but I think that really, you know, you've really pulled yourself into this place of, uh, really focusing on the work, on the physical work, making resources. That is not hard for you. You're good at making money. Um, do you always have it? Probably not. A lot of us go through those periods of time where, you know, things are a little more tight. Well, I think this previous year has been one of those years. I think this year, 2024, is going to be a year that is a lot more abundant for you. Okay. I also see uh, you really using kind of that uh, clairvoyance or intuition. I really feel like you have a, a, a great psychic ability, but I th see you actively using this in your decision making in the daily life. Definitely. And I think that really um, this is going to lead you to a place where not only do we have better health, we have also an abundance of resource, and those are the fish, also the money, okay? Um, the ability to, and we have here some kind of um, maybe like an ibis or um, a deer or so, antelope or something, and the ability and agility uh, to get yourself just motivated, going, 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 going. I think that this is really going to be a huge turnaround year for you. Um, you know, I think the the last half of 2023, or at least the middle part, right? I think that it was just, um, it was hard to get through. I think that there were a lot of nights where um, it was hard to go to sleep. You know, it was just stress. And I can see that uh, there's just been this 
you know, this kind of fire that has been lit in you. Um, I also, you know, and I think that the health stuff looks like it's coming together as well. Um, at least a period of um, kind of things being pretty stable, right? Uh, and um, I'm just thinking, I almost wonder, and now when we, we talk about the dousing rods, um, now these are rods that are used to find water, okay? Uh, and in this context, I'm feeling like it's, it's a sense of finding, again, those emotional waters. Uh, and I see this house over here. Um, I'm thinking it's almost like a sense of uh, finding your forever home, right? And it, what what does that look like? I don't know. Is it a physical home? Um, is this like a, a spiritual system, um, a deity, a religion? Is this you, uh, finding some kind of deep connection with another person, another being, another intelligence? Uh, but there really is a sense of, I'm, you know, I'm coming home, I'm coming home, okay? Um, and then we have that monkey. And that one, that really, uh, I feel like, and I want to be real careful with this. I feel like, and we all kind of know the saying, right? The monkey on your back. And this is when people have um, habitual uh, behaviors, um, addictions, uh, you know, and that could be anything. I mean, it could be you using screens or, um, or, you know, many other things. It could be anything really. We, <laughs> we're good at finding stuff we really, we really like, even if it's to our detriment, right? Or if it just really takes up so much of our time that other things, are starting to, um, you know, not be looked after on the level that they need to be. Um, so this is where that hanged man comes in. And I'm like, oh, yes, yes, it's the hanged man. <laughs> so um, this is when we decide. Yeah, uh, I see this. I see the energy and I know I need to pick the thing. And, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind where you think, okay, this is this is what I need to to um, take a break from. This is what, um, I've been meaning to, you know, put down for a while. Um, now think of that one. If you can go ahead and do that one. If that one seems, I mean, to, I, and I know it is, it's hard. Um, it's hard to face like this is the moment where I'm actually, I'm going to do it, right? Um, I had been saying that about uh, at least tempering my coffee intake for six months at least. I mean, maybe even more. I, it all, It's all on and off throughout my life. I'm like, I'm quitting, I promise, and I don't, and I don't. But, but... Now I'm down to like half a cup, half a cup a day. And it's been a couple of weeks of that. Okay, like don't let me get ahead of myself. I'm not going to lie to you here. <laughs> but it does. You know when the time is right. And I don't like the pressure of like this is my end date, you know. Um, I just need to go with the flow of things usually. And um, so, you know, it could be whatever it is. Now, if that first thing that came to mind is a little too much, you know, you want to dip your toe. Well, think of the second, third, fourth thing, right? And even if it is like, I'm only going to, you know, eat fast food, like whatever, once this week, twice this week, instead of three times. Um, that's a good sacrifice too. I mean, it could be anything. Don't let me tell you. I'm just trying to think of things. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of things that, uh, make sense in my world. <laughs> so, um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, yes, we have that. I just really love that image. I just feel like there is a, um, a place in your, A place in your being 
where it just is so serene. It's very scenic. It's very serene. Um, it is all coming together. It's all coming together, right? Oh, interesting. Okay, so we do have uh, a person with their hands up and they're carrying something above their head. And it looks like an eye, like a giant eye. Okay. Yes. Um... I just get this this feeling of like she is she's watching you she's watching you she's watching you. she's not watching she's not just watching over you it's not just that it's like she's watching you and she, she you're going to see her soon she's going to show herself to you um and I feel like this is not a physical being um, it could be, but I don't think so. I think that this is like, this feels like a, like an, an essence or a, an archetype, um, maybe some kind of divinity, but she's holding the eye, right? And it is the eye to see. This is maybe like a hidden goddess, like a... I don't know. It seems, um, it seems startling though, in some way. Oh, it's like a, it's a revealing, it's a revealing where it feels, um, it feels startling. Like all of a sudden you just see things for what they are and it can be really jolting. But it's because of, it's out of love. It's not, um, this isn't, this is not to scare you. It's not to harm you, but this is an act of love. Okay, I want to look at this. I'm thinking it's something to do with like, um, she, it's, I can see like purples and reds. Purples and reds, purples and reds. Those are the colors that kind of are um, tied to this intelligence. Okay, so let's see what else we have going on here. We're going to finish this out strong. Whew, and I just poured some. That was cold. Okay. Um, so we have... It looks like a, um, some kind of lion, like a medieval lion. So there's a sense of real bravery being, um, you know, the feeling, just a feeling of confidence and leadership of really just um, I feel like it's like you just grabbed all of these parts. You've been working so hard to get things on the, you know, on the path that you want to go. You've, you know, you've dealt with some tower moments last year. Um, really, but really f are continued to figure things out, making the best of what is going on. But I feel like in this last, um, you know, week or two, three weeks, whatever it is, maybe even just like the last week but there's just like it's this turn where it's like i remember myself <laughs> you know i remember my and it's like you just you open up this this bag and you're picking up the rest of the pieces of things putting it in there and just moving forward in this thing you know you're gonna figure it out it's gonna happen and that's why i think there's really going to be this turn towards making the money um, really having some intense spiritual moments, revealing, right? Um, 
a sense of that that home feeling and i know we talked about that in a reading a couple weeks ago um you know and i really i do i just feel like there's a there's a sense of safety confidence and uh just kind of um so innovative so so clever about things you know just really in there making it work yeah okay so i want to take a look at we have the mary magdalene oracle cards and i am going to just flip through these now we've been using affirmation cards but i'm now switching to these oracle cards because they are kind of more of the traditional oracle i'm just gonna stop where it feels right and we're gonna flip it over and it says mary magdalene love only ever expands look how beautiful these cards are yeah i just <laughs> magdalena is really important in my in my life and my practice and my and my devotion and um and i saw these cards and i thought yeah <laughs> oh yes <laughs> oh yes all right, Scorpio, first of all, I want to tell you I love you and I appreciate you. I really do. Um, you all are some of my favorites for real. <laughs> um, and so if you, <laughs> and because of that, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but now I'm going to turn into my ending thing. Um, if you would be so kind as to like the video, please, 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 um, do that it really does help the channel so much i i guess that's what they say i imagine right um so that or if you haven't subscribed please think about doing that you can hit the little bell it'll let you know when the next videos are coming um coming to you and uh it is free to subscribe and um what else if you want to leave a comment please do i'd love to hear from you um, I'm so excited tonight. The new, uh, true detective season is starting and I'm so stoked on that. It's going to be, I think it's like in the cold. It's like out in a cold place, maybe Alaska and, and, um, oh, I love it. I love it. So yes, um, very excited about that. If you want to share what you're watching on TV or movies or reading or, or anything like that, I'd love to hear Please share with us. Tell us what wonderful things we're missing. Okay, Scorpio, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. We'll talk in a few days. Goodbye.